Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in today. 2020 has been an incredibly challenging year for so many reasons, and we hope you and your families are doing okay. Given what's going on today, Google's North Star of being helpful to people feels more important than ever. There are a lot of things weighing heavily on people's minds right now, and not everyone has access to some of the usual outlets that bring us comfort and relief. Things like connecting with family and friends, traveling, or even simply going to the movies has been challenging. So today, we wanna to bring a few of the things we've been working on across Google that we hope will bring a little joy, entertainment, and connection into people's lives. Today, you'll hear from our team about how our devices and services play a unique role in the delivery of Google's helpfulness. Shalini and Isabel will tell you how the new Google TV and Chromecast will change the way people search for and organize content on their TVs. Mark, with the help of special guest Mark Ronson, will explain how we've designed our new smart speaker to fill your entire home with music on demand from streaming services like YouTube for a fraction of what the whole home audio systems would normally cost. And Maya, Shanaz, and Sonia will share how we're putting the G in 5G on our two new Pixel phones built on Android. They're not just faster, but more helpful and affordable so that more people can experience this next chapter of mobile technology. These latest products and services bring together the best of Google's AI, software, and hardware to create helpful experiences built around you, your needs, and your wants. And where all you need to do is say, hey Google, or tap a button to get help in the moment. So grab a snack, get comfortable, and enjoy this first look at our new lineup of helpful products. Play launch night in. <laughs> For many families, TV is the heart of entertainment in the home. I remember growing up in India, I always looked forward to Sunday evening when my family would come together to watch TV. It was usually a Bollywood movie. There was only one channel, it was called Doordarshan, and literally the only thing that was on at that time. Now there is so much content to choose from. YouTube and it's across hundreds of content providers. It can actually take longer to choose something to watch than to watch the content itself. Building on everything we've learned from Android TV, today, I am really excited to introduce Google TV. Google makes it so easy for anyone to enter something they're looking for and find results right away. 
That's the same experience we want to recreate on Google TV. A whole new approach whose aim is to deliver an entertaining and personal experience with recommendations and a discovery paradigm made just for you. For example, I'm a huge fan of dramas. I would usually look within all my different apps to figure out what should I watch. But with Google TV, I'll see a row of tailored recommendations from across all my favorite streaming subscriptions, all in one place, making it way faster to find something to watch. How many times has it happened to you that someone tells you about a great movie to watch or a great show to watch, and you're on the street and you want to remember the name, but you've forgotten it by the time you've gotten home? Happens to me all the time. Another great feature that we bought to Google TV is a watch list which gives you one easy place to bookmark movies and shows that you want to save for later. You can even add to your watch list from your phone or your laptop, and it'll be waiting for you on your TV when you get home. With YouTube TV fully integrated, you need never miss live events. You can record from your phone, as well as get unlimited DVR functionality. You can also play music from your favorite services, and in ambient mode, turn your TV into your large digital photo frame, showing all the favorite pictures you've taken. It even works with your Nest cameras and doorbells. We will be bringing the Google TV experience to many more streaming devices in the Android TV ecosystem. Today, Google TV is making its debut on the all new Chromecast. To me, the incredible part about Chromecast that we were able to make old TVs new TVs. So something that was antiquated all of a sudden became smart. Millions of people around the world use it every day to cast their favorite movies, shows, and music. The new Chromecast with Google TV builds on everything that people love about Chromecast and is the perfect complement to Google TV. And the biggest news here is the addition of a remote to help you navigate with either your finger or your voice. So my favorite button is the assistant button, and that's why we even made it a fun pop color. And with the assistant button, it's so easy. You just press it and you ask it what you want and it just magically shows up. Even when you say something like, play the great British baking show on Netflix. Remotes can often feel bulky and boxy with too many buttons. And for me, anything you bring into your home should feel like it's a part of your life and your personality, even remotes. The new Chromecast remote has a floating stance that invites you to pick it up, and it comes in three distinct colors that live naturally in their surroundings, snow, sky, and sunrise. We wanted to make the remote as delightful as a bowl of candy. We also have dedicated buttons for today's most popular streaming services like Netflix and YouTube to give you even quicker access to the content that you love. There is so much wonderful content out there and we want to help you find it easily. Think of Google TV as your personal entertainment content curator. And the new Chromecast with Google TV is available today for just $49.99 in the US and it's coming to more countries by the end of this year. It's time for you to get cozy on the couch and let Google help you find what you're looking for. Open YouTube TV. Let's go. We got ABC, we got ACC, Adult Swim, Animal Planet, and AMC. Uh, you can watch BBC, America, World News, BET, and Bravo. Why you eating nachos? The chips are looking salty, man. You need a little cheddar. We got Big Ten Network, Cartoon Network, CBS, and Cheddar. We got CMT, CNBC, CNN. I'm jiggling at Comedy Central, so hard I watch it again. Comic Court and Cozy and Discovery and Disney. Watch a little E and get celebrity news. Four different ESPN channels, Food Network to brush up on your recipes, too. Uh, Fox and Freeform, FS1 and FS2. Oh, yes, yes, not one, not two, but three channels by FX. Dolphin, HGTV, HLN, ID, and IFC, a local now and MLB Network, Motor Trend for Drive a Week. MSNBC, MTV, Not Geo, and NBA News, again. NFL Network, Nickelodeon, Olympics, yeah, you know, and Oxygen, and Paramount, and PBS, and Papa CC Network, Smithsonian, Star TV, and Sunday's Rock. Side by case, made TBS, Telemundo, and Tennis, the CW, TNT, and TLC, I ain't finished. On Travel Channel, True TV, and Turner Classes, TV Land, the TYT, Universal, and Universal Kids. VH1, we TV, YouTube Originals, and a bunch of channels with original titles, we do a bit. The Bachelorette, The Mass Singer, Triple D, The Daily Show, The Walking Dead, and Fargo, and Sports Center, away we go. Rick and Morty, 90 Day Fiance, Friends, and Practical Jokers, my flow is flaming hot, like you put my raps on a smoker. I watch Jersey Shore while I rip beats, RuPaul's Drag Race, maybe even Chits Creek, SpongeBob, Blackish, maybe even Yellowstone. Do I need the other? Can I tell you with a mellow tone? I could rap forever, drop a name. 
on this hard base. YouTube TV gives you unlimited DVR space. Live sports, new shows, movies, what a mouthful. You can get a family plan with six accounts per household. There's also not a cable box in sight. Don't you want that? We're past cable. No hidden fees or long-term contracts. There's also this awesome channel called NBC. Check it out. I'm hungry after all that. Let's see what's cooking in the kitchen. that beauty montage oh my goodness when's the last time you cooked i have no idea we killed it we did <laughs> the more i travel and taste the different cuisines of the world wow muy the more i realize that good cooking is universal that's the only reason i came here <laughs> <laughs> and you got your candies on your cookie What kind of record do you want to make? <laughs> Back from the Beatles and Motown, they have a sound. And it's such my childhood. The 808 drum machine. K-pop. Analog and digital. So many great songs. Hey Google. Personality. Times a million. All right. Awesome. That's already winning. Hello, I'm Mark Spates, and I'm the product lead for smart speakers at Google. The original Google Home provided users with great sound. And for the first time, hands-free help from the Google Assistant. Well, we learned a lot since that journey. And one thing that was very clear is that people love music. Today, we're introducing a new product for our family, Meet Nest Audio. Our goal was to create the very best smart speaker for listening to music for only $99. What's really great with Nest Audio, as well as Nest Mini, is that they all work together seamlessly. One that can easily connect with other Nest speakers and displays, and it can be the center of your whole home audio system. We spoke to sound engineers, musicians, and audio specialists on our own team. They told us that there are three key things that you have to get right in an awesome smart speaker. More bass, more volume, and maintaining that natural, clear sound. Nest Audio delivers 50% more bass, 75% more volume than the original Google Home. We introduced a 19 millimeter tweeter for consistent high frequency coverage and clear vocals and added a 75 millimeter mid-woofer that really brings that bass. As a result, Nest Audio delivers fuller, clearer, and more natural sound. And this really starts to take the music listening experience to the next level. So you're probably wondering, how are we going to demonstrate sound quality virtually? We invited our friend, Mark Ronson, to give us his opinion. How you doing? I would love for you to test out Nest Audio on one of your favorite songs and see if it really brings it to life. Well, I wouldn't mind hearing something that I make because I'm familiar with it so I can really like hear the speaker and enjoy it for what it is. Hey Google, play Valerie by Mark Ronson and Amy Winehouse. All right, Valerie V, Amy Winehouse, version revisited by Mark Ronson. Playing on YouTube music. You can't like not smile and listen to that song. So Mark, what do you think? When you're listening on a good speaker, you can get the sense of the space. You know, the drums are a little bit to the left, the piano in the center, and it has like a very warm sound to it. What's unique about sound is it's personal. Um, it's very subjective. Uh, the way that I like to listen to one song in a verse is the way that you like to hear it. I love to put my ear up next to the speaker because I've been doing that since I was three years old. Like this the whole time, like planting myself down next to the speakers. Kind of just want to get lost in it. So I want to feel the sound, like whether the speaker is this big, this big. I just want to feel the sound. I came from an era where you had to have two speakers and a turntable going through it to listen to music. And if you wanted to listen to music in the kitchen, it meant that you had to turn it up really loud in the living room. And then, you know, that doesn't go down so well with the neighbors. We end up having a lot more dance parties at home, either Little Baby or Bossa Nova is my dish music. I like the combo, that's, you're, you're, you're a bad boy. <laughs> it's the same thing, either you're really chill, right? Or you, you need a little bit of energy. I love that not only are you an artist and, and you're passionate about music, but I think your creativity goes far beyond that. When you're in your process and you're creating, um, 
How does the actual artist play into the way that you produce the music for them? You're just always trying to make everything tailor-made perfectly to that artist. So if you're in the studio, it doesn't matter if it's Amy Winehouse or Ghostface Killer or... Every time you say Ghostface Killer, it makes me smile because I can just think like so many great songs. I'm just always looking for that great vocal or that performance that sort of makes you feel it here. We wanted to make sure that we started to design it so that people really heard what the artist wanted them to hear. It's important when they come out the speaker that they, they sound the way that I intended them. The other thing that I would love to hear your thought on is the design. I'm such a sucker for anything covered in fabric like this, this kind of simple and classic and elegant. It's actually recycled material and it uses the same type of sustainable covering that we use on our other speakers. Well, Mark, thanks so much for joining us. We would love to have you play one more song before you head out. Hey Google, play Todd Rundgren, I Saw the Light. All right, I Saw the Light by Todd Rundgren, playing on YouTube Music. Well, that was fun. As you heard, Nest Audio is a smart speaker designed for everyone who loves music. And it's available for $99. Let's check out how the Wilson family is using Nest Audio to create a whole home audio experience. Hey Google, play some music on YouTube Music. Hey Google, move the music to the living room pair. Hey Google, move the music to the whole home group. Hey LJ, what song do you want to play next on YouTube Music? YouTube Music is the world of music dedicated to you guys with over 70 million songs. YouTube Music is showing people different options, but also music that we would never have heard. It was funny because the other day I was like, you know what, now let's do like a French song. And everyone's like, no. Oh. I'm like, I've tried to like cover all my bases. I'm a Latin girl. And I think because my dad had so much of that connection, that's evolved as well into something crazy. The top songs in the world are in Spanish. I definitely like to listen to romantic music. Ella Fitzgerald and uh, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin. I Hope You Dance by Leanne Womack, and that's because of my Nana. Like, cooking is usually very calm, like very Etta James. You know, then I'll be in a whole Bob Dylan phase and those classic 80s or like 70s hits. I think we have some of the best lyricists in the game right now. Dua and um, Ariana, Taylor, Demi. These artists are just lifting up the game with these lyrics. It makes me so happy. It's just that one line that gets you in a song where you're like, Ooh, wait, I gotta write that down.
My best friend is, her boyfriend is in a band called Goodbye Honolulu. I love listening to what they listen to. You know, the playlist they'll play. Cause it's, it's gonna be one where I'm like, yeah, I think I'm gonna find some like cool new stuff. Get personalized recommendations and explore to discover new songs and artists with YouTube music. Hey Google, play Ice Cream by Selena Gomez and Blackpink. with the kiss, so we call me Ice Cream. Catch me in the fridge, right where the ice be. Love so good, yeah, love so sweet. Hey. This is my new single and I hope you like it. Last year, we launched the Pixel 3a, an affordable phone with a really awesome camera. And this year, we launched the Pixel 4a, and it's selling even faster than the 3A. And today, we're introducing the 5G version, Pixel 4a 5G. With Pixel 4a 5G, you get the best of 4a as a 5G experience. It has a larger edge-to-edge -edge OLED display and a more powerful battery. The Pixel A series has always been about making the best of our technology as affordable as possible. And with 5G gaining momentum, we wanted to make this new technology available at an affordable price. The Pixel 4a 5G starts at only $499. But we know that some people also want more with their phone. So we're introducing the new Pixel 5, which brings together the best of Google's 5G experiences with water resistance, eight gigabytes of RAM, and wireless and reverse wireless charging. So you can use it with your Pixel stand or to charge your Pixel Buds on the go. In addition to the hardware, what really makes the Pixel phones incredible is the software. 5G makes many of the great experiences we deliver faster. But people want more than just speed. Speed is still a big part of it. For example, you can download a movie in just seconds now. And we're also optimizing video streaming quality in both photos and YouTube for 5G speeds. But then with Wi-Fi features like smart downloads on 5G, your YouTube music playlists are proactively downloaded. So even when you don't have connectivity, your entertainment continues seamlessly. 5G and Google Duo can make connecting with friends and family more engaging and entertaining. Not only can you connect with anyone on any phone, you can now share your screen and watch videos together. Especially now, being apart from friends and family, it's great to be able to share fun moments while on a video call, like men's haircut tutorials, Hoping these video tutorials can help me cut my husband's hair better and my son gets the confidence for his mom to let him cut his hair. Pixel 5G and Stadia combine to create an instantaneous gaming experience. Today's biggest games ready wherever you are. Play in all your favorite places at home or on the go. No more waiting for game downloads or updates. Pick up your Pixel and play instantly. Some people think that to get all the benefits of 5G at an affordable price, there needs to be a compromise on some of our core features like camera. But that's not true. Pixel 5 and Pixel 4a 5G share the same front and rear camera system. And it's our best one yet. Starting with the hardware, we've put a new ultra-wide lens on the back, and HDR Plus has received a serious upgrade, mixing Google novel techniques with traditional HDR techniques like exposure bracketing, to help you take even clearer, sharper photos. The new ultra-wide lens on the back lets you capture more of the scene in both your photos and videos. Whether you're capturing a breathtaking landscape or a family get-together, the ultra-wide lens ensures you get it all. Users love taking photos with beautiful background blurs, but this is challenging to do in super low-light conditions. So we've added Night Sight to our portrait mode. 
For those evening strolls or backyard s'mores, this combination allows the subject in the foreground to stand out even in low light. The funny thing is backyard s'mores is our use case. So my kids love making s'mores. We have not been able to camp this year. And so we've been doing them in the backyard, camping outside and making s'mores on our gas fireplace. And we're able to take portrait shots of them with the background blurred with the fire, just adding oranges to that background and them popping with their s'more on their stick. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> we improve portrait mode with a new feature we call portrait light. We know you can't always get good lighting. That's why with portrait light, you can illuminate your portraits even when you're backlit against a beautiful sunset or have a harsh shadow on your face from the bright sun above you. Because we use AI to solve this problem, you can even apply this lighting effect in the newly redesigned Google Photos Editor to a portrait you took five years ago. One other thing we heard from our users is how much they want to be able to capture beautiful videos. To that end, we've added three new stabilization modes, locked, active, and cinematic pan. We also noticed that a lot of top YouTube videos for videography are tutorials on exactly this. So we studied the best tips from YouTube as well as from Hollywood directors to create cinematic pan. Cinematic pan lets you make the everyday look like a movie. It creates sweeping dramatic Hollywood effects through stabilizing and slowing down the motion by 2x. And we're also launching Extreme Battery Saver that lets you decide what essential apps you want to keep on while everything else gets paused. It helps you increase your battery life for up to 48 hours when you need it the most. With these phones, you get three years of Android OS and security updates. And the Titan M chip helps to keep your operating system, passwords, and transactions safe. They've been tested against real world threats to keep everything from your texts to your pictures secure on your phone. But of all of these features, my favorite feature is Hold For Me. Honestly, I really don't like listening to elevator music or being put on hold for an hour. I don't think anybody does. Luckily, our new feature Hold For Me builds on the smarts of duplex and call screen to help save you time. Google Assistant will wait on hold for you and alert you when someone comes on the line and is ready to speak to you. So we know when people buy phones, they really want their phone to last a long time. And they want to make sure that their phone stays up to date and has the latest and greatest and newest features. So with Pixel, we have feature drops that do exactly that. And they're always bringing the latest and newest technology back to your existing Pixel as soon as they're ready. For example, Extreme Battery Saver and Hold For Me are going to be coming to older generation Pixels very soon. And we think this is great from both a user kind of value perspective, as well as from a sustainability perspective, of being able to hold onto and use your phone for longer. And for those of you who will be purchasing one of our new 5G phones, you'll be getting even more. Three months of Stadia Pro, YouTube Premium, 100 gigabytes of storage with Google One, and Play Pass and Play Points all on us. We're really looking forward to you experiencing these new 5G phones and how helpful they can be for yourselves. They bring together the best of Google software, new 5G experiences that go beyond speed, and the latest in computational photography to help you capture your special memories. And they start at only $499. Hold up, we still announcing in here? Let's take it outside. What's good? Dashy Games here, out here in LA in this beautiful park. Sunny day, but I'm not worried though, because I can see everything on this Pixel 4a 5G edge to edge display. We're getting this exclusive look at Immortals Phoenix Rising on Stadia. New Ubisoft title they just announced earlier this month. Looks crispy. Look at this Wasabi color controller. Okay, hold up, Cyclops. Hold up, Cyclops. <laughs> you trying to get you trying to throw columns at me? You trying to throw columns? Come on, my boy. Nah, it's not going to work. I thought you could only get high frame rates on consoles, but with Stadia on the Pixel 4a 5G, you can get it on the go, too. What? Y'all like what y'all saw? What if I told you you could play a demo of Immortals Phoenix Rising this fall when it releases exclusively on Stadia? Until then, though, you can go to stadia.com 
and try a bunch of awesome games with the Stadia Pro free trial. That's what I'm talking about. No, not today, bro. Not today, bro. That's right! That's what I'm talking! Woo! Nailed it. All right, Rick, I'm gonna let you take it from here. I hope you enjoyed the show. We're really excited about Google TV and how it can help you find the shows you love. Thanks to Mark Ronson for putting Nest Audio through its paces, helping us showcase its great sound. And with our new Pixels, we hope to make Google and 5G available to even more people. I'd like to end by extending a huge thanks to all of you at home for tuning in. There's even more to discover on our website, and you can pre-order everything featured in the show from the Google Store. Thanks for spending some time with us. Okay, we're just getting in place right now. And action, Bronson. So is that just me? Uh, I don't see Mark on the, on the screen. Oh, sorry, other right. <laughs> Sorry, can we do it again? Wait, am I starting from the beginning again? <laughs> oh you're gonna get this reviewed before we put it in, right?